so long ago, I shared a video on this channel about C-section recovery tips. Number three, manage pain. Pain after your cesarean section is a normal part of the healing process, unless it's severe, in which case you must seek urgent medical attention. Number four, care for your incision or wound. Keep your wound clean and dry and be careful to look out for signs of an infection. Many of you found that video so helpful you followed up wanting some more details. So today, let's address more questions about recovering from a cesarean section. By the way, let's make it interactive. If you have any personal CS recovery tips, please share them in the comment section. Many new parents will find them really helpful. Okay, so let's begin. How long does it take to heal or get back on your feet after a C-section? Healing after a C-section can take some time. Most people start feeling better and can do light activities within a few weeks, but it can take around six to eight weeks or even more to feel more like themselves. Everyone is different, so pace yourself. The first few days are the toughest and you might need help with things like getting out of bed or walking around, for example. Taking it slow and giving your body time to heal properly is important. Okay, number two. Is it true you cannot participate in specific exercises after a C-section? Yes, it's true. After a C-section, your body needs time to heal. So you should avoid heavy lifting, intense workouts, and activities or exercises that will put strain on your belly or your womb for at least six to eight weeks. Gentle activities like walking are good at the beginning of your recovery, but you should always check with your doctor before returning to more intense exercises like sprinting, running, lifting weights, even if you feel you're able to. Number three, which will let you heal faster, spinal or general anesthesia? Okay. Spinal anesthesia, which numbs just the lower half of your body, is often better for recovery because you can get up quicker and start moving around earlier. But in general anesthesia, where you're put to sleep during the operation, it might take a bit longer to wear off. So that could slow down your initial recovery. However, both types of anesthesia are safe and either one could be used depending on what's best for you and your baby. Okay, next. Why is the C-section scar itchy? An itchy C-section scar is typical. It's one of the things to expect. As your skin heals, the nerves around your scar are also healing, which can lead to a sensation of itching around it. So it's a sign that your body is working to repair yourself and not anything to worry about unless it's spreading or you're experiencing excessive amounts of itching. Just be sure to avoid scratching at the scar because that can slow down its healing or even lead to infection. You can rub at it very gently to soothe the area rather than trying to scratch at it. After the wound is completely healed and dry, make sure you continue to keep the area clean and well moisturized to prevent itching and allow the skin to recover even better. How long do you spend in the hospital after a C-section? Well, after a C-section, most people will spend on average two to four days, depending on how their procedure has gone. This gives the doctors and nurses looking after you time to make sure that you and your baby are doing well. So they'll check that your pain is under control, that you're healing correctly, and that your baby is healthy before you both can go home. What is recovery like after a C-section? And when will the doctor allow you to go home? Okay, so let's go into a bit more detail with this. Recovery after a C-section can be a little challenging initially. You'll need to take pain medication, make sure you're getting enough rest and avoid doing too much, especially in the first few days. Doctors will let you go home once they can see that you're healing well, you can move around a little bit and your baby is feeding and doing well. Usually this will happen within the first two to four days, but everyone is different. They'll do things like check that you can pass urine normally after the catheter tube that was inserted before your operation has been removed. They want to make sure that you're eating fine and belching and farting. This level of TMI may be a little bit embarrassing to you, but it tells us that your bowels are working fine after surgery. Your team will encourage you to start moving around pretty soon after surgery. This is to prevent sluggish circulation and reduce the risk of developing blood clots. You will likely go home with the most uncomfortable stockings ever. These are known as compression stockings. They can help your leg muscles contract and get the circulation in the deep muscles going smoothly to reduce the risk of blood clots developing. So these are some of the things that will happen, including checking on the baby's well-being that your clinical team would like to do before you are free to go home. How painful is a C-section? Hmm. 
Good question. A C-section can be painful, especially in the first few days. During the surgery, you won't feel pain because of the anesthesia, but afterwards you will feel sore around your belly. Pain medication will help and each day should be a little bit easier. Most people tend to feel better and not need regular painkillers after about a week or two following the C-section. When does your period come back after a C-section? Okay, so your period may take a while to come back following a C-section. If you're breastfeeding, it could be several months before you see your period again because the hormones that are produced during breastfeeding could delay your periods. If you're not breastfeeding, it could be six to eight weeks before you start experiencing regular menstrual periods again. But everyone is different and it can vary. So if you're worried, please make sure you're speaking to your doctor about it. What are the risks involved in having a C-section birth? While C-sections are common and generally safe, they do come with some risks like any other surgery. Some of these can include infection, heavy bleeding, reaction to anesthesia, for instance. And there's also a longer recovery period compared compared to if you'd had a vaginal birth. However, a competent clinical team will take many precautions to ensure that you and your baby are safe both during and after the procedure. So that's where we'll break with the questions for now. Let me know other areas I've not covered and which we can look at in a future video. In the meantime, I hope you have a safe and smooth CS recovery period. Thanks so much for watching. Please like this video and I'll see you again soon.